Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I would do a house update. Um, we've had quite a lot of work done, so I'll just go through mainly the downstairs rooms, just saying what we've had done and what we're sort of planning to do. And if I don't say something and you think, oh, what's that? Just drop me a message in the comments below and I will do my best to answer. So in the hall, if I just spin you around, obviously that's our front door. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my previous video um, we had various different sorts of we had like tiles in the kitchen and then we had a different wood here and a different wood in the living room so we've gone for this is the Antico traditional wood um, sort of laminate floor but it's a bit different from laminate and it looks really good obviously this comes in loads of different colours and patterns and we've just gone through this all on the ground floor apart from the snug which is the original carpet so we've had all the flooring replaced we've had the hall stairs and landing i can take you all the way up there uh, decorated we didn't do that because our decorating skills are zero we had this um i think they call it a chair rail put in and this is Midnight Sea Spray from Laura Ashley and um, Laura Ashley obviously closed down and then it's come back in some capacity in next but we had the samples um, from last year and when we were meant to be moving but didn't long story won't bore you with that now um, and then we've just sort of used that and we actually took the tester pots that we had we took it to a Dulux trade center and they made it up in like the durable sort of washable uh, paint because obviously this is a high high wear area so midnight sea spray here and then here we went for sugar gray white and this is the color that is in here and in the kitchen so we had the chair rail sort of all the way through here i will walk upstairs afterwards and we had like the radiators and the doors painted as well so into the living room again we've had the antico floor in here um i think last time i did a bit of a tour we had the fireplace replaced and this is a not a log burner but it's a gas fire like a log burner and we had this fireplace made up from i think it was oer fireplaces who are based in stoke-on-trent which is sort of close to us and this is a dark oak and basically we just sent them the measurements of because we we kept the the marble um sent them the measurements and they made it to the exact specification so we didn't need to do anything else apart from we need to paint down the sides because it's just not quite as wide but we can't work out which paint color it is so we're trying so that has made a really big difference to the room uh the mirror was from dunelm and the biggest change really is our furniture and this is the jules windsor uh, range from dfs in the navy color and the cushions we just bought off ebay somebody had some laura ashley fabric um, and you will see the fabric and the curtains when i come on to those are Josette midnight which is like a navy blue please ignore the feet on the sofas and the foots footstools they are all damaged so we are waiting for dfs to remake the sofas um don't ask me how they managed to damage all five pieces, but that's a story in itself. So if I come down here, we've got a four-seater here, the two-seater here, and then the snuggle chair in the window. As I say, these curtains, which you can see better here, are Midnight Sea, Midnight Sea Spray, Midnight Josette from Laura Ashley. The curtain tie backs are Laura Ashley as well got a little lamp on here this was from Dunnell and then the coffee table and the tv stand were from a local furniture place to us and 
Now you may remember obviously the curtains were bought for our previous house that we were meant to be buying. So they don't exactly fit. So what we're going to do is um, these two sets of curtains here. We've got a lady coming in. She's going to make us some Roman blinds, um, which will fit the window. So that will be great. So we're just waiting for that. Obviously, I shrunk these a little bit deliberately in the washing machine. Got my yucca. This was from B&M. It was only £22. We haven't got a pot for it, which is why it's sitting in a storage tub. But we've got all our furniture in, albeit damaged. Um, the light in the corner is Laura Ashley Sorrento in the grey shade, and that's from Next. And the lights are the same ones we had before they were from Debenhams. So that is our living room. So lots of change. Um, and we're just finding where we put things. And we decided to get a bigger TV because this room is quite long. Um, and if you're sitting here, um, it, you're quite far away from the telly. So there we go. So that is everything we are going to do with this room. Although we may repaint it. We're not entirely sure. I don't think we can face any more decorating at the moment. So, walking through back into the hall. And into the snug. You may remember we painted this. Um, this was Dulux Mocha, I think she says. Um, we've got the living room city in here and we've put up the Ikea Calyx units. Got the one here with the TV and then we've got two, two ones here. We haven't quite decided what we're doing with those yet. We've got the two sort of long shelves here which are going to go on this wall here and here um, and we've got pictures and things which we haven't decided where those yet so this room is taking shape and we've obviously got this space down at the end and we thought maybe we have some bean bags so it's a little bit more organized because before i think this just looked like a dumping ground i won't go into the downstairs loo because as you know i can't switch the fan off so i'll do that last so that's the downstairs loo to the right so in the kitchen we've come through with the antico floor again we haven't had the uh, a new kitchen put in. We've actually had the kitchen cupboards painted. And these are in Faro and Ball worsted paint, which is, I'm just trying to focus in. It's like a dark, dark grey colour. And the walls have been painted the Laura Ashley uh, sugar grey white. So that works really well. And obviously we had granite transformations in with the black diamond granite worktops. And these are from Ironmongery Direct. We just replaced all the wooden handles and we're really pleased with how this has all come together. It's made the kitchen look sort of more modern and updated. So yeah, so that was just the kitchen cabinets were resprayed and I'm really pleased. We obviously had the sink replaced as well because the tap was just not fit for purpose. We are thinking of changing the cooker hood because um, it is really ineffective. Um, and also the tiles. We thought we could live with the tiles being orange, but maybe not. It's a gorgeous day, although it is very unpredictable. So that is the kitchen. I think that's everything we've done in here. If we go into the utility, it's pretty much the same as it was for. Obviously, the, the cabinets have been repainted, um, but we didn't get the granite worktops in here because we didn't think, you know, nobody really sees this room apart from us. And we'll go into the downstairs loo. Now, obviously, down the downstairs loo, we painted that to start off with. So... We've just tried to make it a little bit more finished 
I've got a little unit in here now. This was from Wayfair and it's more, it describes it as grey, but it's more like a dove grey um, or a French grey that's sort of a brownie grey. The mirror was from Home and Bargain and these little shelves, that plant is not staying there, um, were from B&M. On the wall, um, these are cards from a local artist called Artie Sally and I really like them and I just popped them in some uh, little box frames from Donnell. We've got the little fox there as well. So I'm just thinking we just need some, maybe some plants. Um, I think this is pretty much empty so it's not giving any smell out. Um, yeah, so this just makes the room look far more finished. And apologies for the noise of the fan. And going upstairs, we had the cream carpet replaced with a French grey. Um, obviously, we've got the paint and the chair rail. And coming up, we decided to do the wall at the top of the stairs with Laura Ashley Joseph Sea Spray. So it all ties in. And it's nice just to have that as a feature wall up here. And what I'm thinking is we'll get some blinds for this top window that we can't actually get to without a ladder. And obviously the window by the front door as well. So that has been what has been going on for, it feels like forever, but I'm sure it's not. But We've got a few things that we want to do. The other thing we did, we've, we've changed all the spotlights. The spotlights were like a, you probably can't, well, you won't be able to see, but they were all sort of like a plasticky yellow color. So we've just had all those changed by the electrician for stainless steel. So I hope you enjoyed my little home update. Um, we're getting there slowly. And it's just nice sort of sharing with you what we've done. Um, while well, we've been living in chaos for the last couple of months. So if you like this video, please give it a like and please consider subscribing for more sort of home videos or if you're following my sort of journey with my enclosing spondylitis, please consider joining me. Take care for now. Bye.